Hello great people, welcome back to our channel. Osin Banjo, who most Nigeria believe is the choicest candidate, uh, is now facing very tough castigation from a particular group in the northern part of the country. Don't forget that fairly recently he has declared his intention to run for presidency come 2023. And right now, so many groups are coming up to speak against him. And this time around, it's a way of kind of denting his uprightness, which most Nigerians want to leverage on to vote for him. Now, you're going to hear full details of um, what these guys are coming up with against the VP, Osin, Yemi Osin Banjo. But before we give you full details of that, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, a coalition of Arewa Civil Society Group has won the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, and Nigerians to be wary of presidential aspiration of Vice President Yemi Sinbanjo. The coalition alleged that Sinbanjo is seeking to become president in 2023 because he is seeking immunity from prosecution. During a press briefing in Abuja on Sunday, the convener of the group, Comrade Musa Atta, alleged that the vice president mismanaged funds under his control and office. The leadership of the coalition of Arewa Civil Society Group welcomes you all to the significant press conference, which has become a child of necessity given the recent clamor for the vice president, Yemio Simbanjo, to vie for the highest position or for highest political office in the country. As a group representing a vast interest of critical stakeholders in the northern Nigeria and some other parts of the country, we are constrained to lean our voice to an ambition we consider misplaced and against the interest of the generality of Nigerians in our quest for sustainable growth and development. The presidential aspiration of Vice President Yemi Sinbanjo does not suit the purpose given his track record in the mismanagement of the various social intervention program of the federal government headed to domicile in his office because of before the creation of the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development. It is instructive to ask questions about how Vice President Yemi Simbanjo managed the National Social Investment Program, NSIP, intended to tackle poverty and hunger across the country. For the records, the seat of program under the NSIP focuses on ensuring a more equitable distribution of resources to vulnerable population, including children, youth, and women, under the supervision of the Office of the Vice President. The Empower Program, Conditional Cash Transfer Program, Government Enterprise and Empowerment Program, the Homegrown School Feeding Program, and the Trader Money Empowerment Scheme were all intended to bring succor to the vulnerable groups in the country. Therefore, it is curious how such laudable initiatives were mismanaged by the Office of the Vice President, which warranted the President to create a new ministry and transfer the responsibility of managing these programs to the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management, and Social Development. What Nigerians might be aware of is that under the supervision of Vice President Yemir Sinbanjo, the National Social Intervention Program became an avenue for corrupt enrichment by the Vice President and his cronies. The diverted funds meant for the vulnerable group to private pockets. The haste committed by the vice president and his cronies is implementing the program is quite despicable and a shame given the multitude of evidence pointing to gross mismanagement and abuse of office. Therefore, it is unimaginable for the vice president to indicate interest to rule this country. The implication of a Yemi Simbanjo presidency in Nigeria is that the country's resources would be diverted to private pockets most brazenly as we saw in the NSIP. It therefore amounts to an insult to the sensibility of Nigerians for vice president Yemi Simbanjo to want to lead Nigeria. He lacks moral and uprightness as evident in his corrupt tendencies and lack of sincerity of heart and purpose. At this point, we are 
tempted to state in unequivocal terms that the attempt by Vice President Yemi Sibanjo to seek the highest political office in the country is an attempt to shield himself from the probe after the expiration of his immunity. Hmm. That's quite a very that that's a serious and um, serious um, indictment on the our allegation on the part of the vice president and this has triggered a lot of reactions from Nigerians. Someone said, "Truth be told, Buhari damaged the reputation of Sibanjo and Fashola. If these two men were to contest for presidency in 2015, they would have won with landslides." But it cannot be said of in 2023. Truly, one rotten apple can. Sp- Spoil a bunch of apple. Another person here says, Don't cry when the sun is gone because the tears won't let you see the star. Hmm. Someone says, A collection of Arewa civil society groups are the most unused group on earth. Someone is paying them to smear Osin Banjo. I don't know when doing the right thing has become a sin in Nigeria. By the way, I have a stand. Okay. Another person here says, I have always reiterated that Simba and Joe Antinibu can never be president of Nigeria. As for the North, I hear always on these forums that they play matchup politics. Just see what matchup politics has done to the region. Uh, another person here uh, says that don't worry yourself about Simba and Joe. He can't even get the ticket. Who is going to vote for him at the primaries? The only people talking about Osim Banjo are those who don't understand how Nigerian politics works. The dues you have to pay and the part it takes to get the ticket of any of the major parties. Take a man like Jews or Kalu that has been a politician forever, paid his dues in terms of building bridges, mingle with the military when they were in power, has said he wants to be president, but he will not contest unless it is zoned specifically to the south is because he knows how it is done. Another one here says they intentionally gave Osimba and they traded money to this boss because they know as a pastor he would love money to steal. So the trap finally caught him. Another one here says laugh out loud with the news of the possible return of Jonathan. I don't think Osimba and Joe will show interest. But if that is not the case, then he will make likely declare. He may likely declare. And if he does, he will suddenly win. All these sponsor political crusades against his him holds no water. I was even expecting to see vivid evidence, but all I can see here are BAPA law, Cretum, Crontums. We have never elected a cent, but we usually go for the best among all the terrible options we have. And for 2023, Professor Simbanjo is the most qualified and best out of the terrible options that we have yes now one of the things that uh, does makes this allegation not to hold water is that there are no evidence pointing to you know if osin banjo actually took hand into the money and ate from you know from the national moi moi uh, before now we've heard of that allegation you know some time ago and but unfortunately we are yet to see evidence you know, pointing to the fact that he is he was corrupt in handling the money, he mismanaged the money, and all of that. But I strongly believe that uh, with time, the truth will come out. But as we all know, Nigerian politics has so many sides to it, and maybe the, what we are seeing right now is a sponsored crusade to see how Sibanjo will not clinch that uh, position. But for me, I feel Nigeria have millions of people for us to be recycling particular set of people. I believe that opportunity should be given to people who have not tested but who have proven themselves in private sector management or in public office management, not at the level of vice president or, or you know a president, but someone who we, we, we will look at and we see his track record as one who has achieved a lot when given the opportunity to lead. That's why I like to leave it. Go to our comment session.